Hi guys, this is Reed. Today I'm going to show you how to make a stacked bar chart using Excel. The data we're using is going to be the data I used in my project. So we're looking at layoff data by date. Um, over here in our measures, we have our different categories of jobs, uh, accommodations, arts and entertainment, construction, etc. And you can see they're all as numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is drag dates over into our rows. And what this does is it has the dates on this axis. And the next thing we're going to do is drag measure values into our columns. Now, if you notice right now, the first thing it's done is create a line chart. So if we wanted to, we could see the change over time for different jobs. But since we're doing a stacked bar chart, we're going to go over here to Marks, click on it, and select Bar. Now, we have a stacked bar chart here. And you can see it has our category and the year in our uh, tooltip. But what we want is for it to be colorful so that way it's easier to differentiate and we can track them over a time period. So here we have measure names and we can drag this up into color. And now for each job we now have a specific color and our key over here to tell us what we're looking at. Now if we only want to look at certain of certain categories we can right click on measure values and edit our filter and we can select or deselect different options. So if we only wanted to look at jobs in government, we could do education services, federal, government as a whole, healthcare and social assistance, and get rid of the rest of these. And add a state and local. Once we apply that, we now have a stacked bar chart only showing the measure names we're interested in. In class, we may have showed you that some of these we are dragging out. This is a slightly easier way. Now, if we want to go a little further, we could right-click here. And if we select quarter, this version down here will do the quarter by year versus quarters in general. So as you can see, if we scroll right along, it gives us the quarter date. So 2014, quarter four. And if you want to switch it to this, all you have to do is click the switch columns and rows. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, the data set will be linked to below, and you can always call or text for any questions. Thanks, guys.